the Juntek manufacturer reached out to me again and wanted me to uh, do a review of another one of their products. And I said yes for a couple different reasons. Uh, first reason is I said yes, but you got to give me an extra unit to give away to my subscribers, so I'll have the giveaway details at the end of the video. Uh, second reason is the last product I reviewed of theirs, which is the signal generator. At the time of the review, I wasn't super excited about it because of the price. It's right around $200. I thought that was a little too high. But after using it for like a year now or whatever it was, um, I'm actually okay with that price because the more I use it, the more I like it. And it actually is a pretty well polished uh, piece of equipment. Now considering it's a Chinese manufacturer, they're usually, when it comes to Chinese tools, there's usually something wrong with it. Buggy, weird user interface. I don't know, there's always something weird. But with this signal generator, I've actually been really pleased with it. So I want to give this company another another review. I want to check out some more of their products because they might actually be a good manufacturer, even though their name is a little unfortunate at Junk Tech. But, and the third reason is, the product they wanted me to review actually fits in with a project I've been thinking about for a while, and that is a solar shed. Um, so what they sent over here is a battery monitor, but it's actually more than just a battery monitor. This has a relay output that can disconnect your battery uh, under whatever conditions you set it. And it can do anything from over voltage protection, under voltage protection, which is of course important for lithium batteries, uh, discharge, discharge over current protection, that I say charging over current protection, and it does that to um, over power protection, so you can just set a, a watts where you want to kick out at, and over temperature protection, it has a temperature probe you can either stick on your batteries or your inverter if you want. Um, and uh, I think that covers uh, the protection modes. Um, it is Bluetooth, which is nice because that way uh, my lazy ass can be inside of the house while I monitor what's going on out in the shed, of course, given uh, the Bluetooth range. If, if the Bluetooth range can reach, that is a possibility. So here's just a quick look at the Bluetooth app. So you can see uh, this, the first box is your voltage of the battery. Uh, the second box is current. So right now it's at zero because I have nothing turned on. So I'll just go ahead and uh, fire up a load. So I have uh, right here is an incandescent bulb going through an inverter, which is being run by a pack of 18650s going through this. So this is right now, this is off grid as of right now. I'm gonna go ahead and fire on the inverter and we'll turn on the lamp. So here we see um, we have a three amp draw and there it is on the amp too, which is live. Um, and then if you look at the symbol here, this little gray box is the load. I'm gonna turn on my power supply which will simulate like a uh, solar charge controller or you can think of it as the battery charger too. So you see on the app here, it kicked over to show on an outlet plug. So now it knows the battery is charging. So now we're positive 1.6 amps. And if I kill it, tell you what, I'll put a, the picture on the uh, main box here. I'll shut off the power supply and we'll go back to negative three amps because that is what the inverter is pulling. The uh, range on these dials are fully adjustable too. So you can give it the starting voltage uh, I'm using a 24 volt battery, so I'll just narrow it down to like, I don't know, 19, 18 volts. When it's there, it's dead. And when it's fully charged, it is, what, 25 point something. So I'll move that a little bit closer to 25, what, 26? Okay, there we go. Perfect. So now it uses more of the range of the gauge. The current range on the dial is also adjustable too. I have it set all the way down at five just for the bench testing purposes. But as you can see, it goes up to 600. Yes, they sent the 600 amp shunt <laughs> for this kit. Um, so I guess I could monitor the power usage of a small neighborhood. I don't know, it's pretty crazy. I, I, I suppose 600 amps, that should be enough for like electric car projects. I don't know. For my solar shed, I probably only need like uh, 
maybe 50 amps tops um, as a worst case scenario but uh, whoever gets the free unit is also getting a 600 amp model so I'd love to know what kind of projects you can think of to use this on. All of the protection parameter settings can either be done through the wired unit or through the Bluetooth app. So you can just go in and then input the uh, your over voltage protection or your uh, low voltage cutoff. Um, and again, this box here has the relay output that you would run to your relay that would kill the power going to the battery. You can even select if you want a normally closed relay or a normally open relay. Ooh, firmware update button. And this protective uh, time setting here. So if there is a fault, you can set how much time it waits uh, until it goes back online again. So you do input your battery capacity. It knows I have a eight amp hour battery so then it can calculate uh, not only the charge rate but uh, how much time is left in the battery according to the load it's under and on the app here it shows us our power consumption I got a 75 watt light bulb going right now oh and you can monitor the temperature and how long it's been running just for the heck of it I put the temperature probe right above the light bulb and we can watch the uh, temperature going up right here and yeah that's all done through the Bluetooth so here on this line is the remaining amp hour value so I have seven amp hours left in my battery we have the elapsed uh, amp hour um, yeah what's been used then we have how much time is left and then we have the uh, battery resistance is what they call that um, yeah battery internal resistance I'm not sure how we could use that value but it's there if you want it we have the kilowatt uh, hour and then again the wattage so I got a 75 watt bulb going it of course is calculating the energy used by the inverter too and this red box uh, OTP that's over temp protection because I put the temp sensor on top of the light bulb, it uh, exceeded what I had set for a safe uh, temperature. So if I had the relay hooked up, uh, it would have shut down the battery uh, when this is in that uh, red protect mode. Or if any of the other parameters were tripped, it would also be in red and then uh, shut down the battery. And now for the giveaway details. I'm going to fire up the charger and show a positive charge again. That time should go down if you just watch that. Um, giveaway details. Um, so one week after this video is posted, I will randomly pick a comment. So make sure your notifications are working so that way when I reply to your comment, you will see it. Because if you don't respond to me within a day, I'm going to go on to the next person. Anyways. What I'd love to hear is what you would do with this thing. What kind of projects are you working on? How would you use it? Um, so this is going to be for the lower 48 states only. The shipping is out of my own pocket, so I'll, we're just keeping it within the states. Um, if you're outside of the states, you just have to buy your own. I will have a link in the description to the AliExpress website um, showing this model. So for more information, follow the link. And I think that's going to wrap up today's video. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.